Hello and welcome to the 2015 edition of Journey to the Throne. I'm your host, Pearl Fontaine. Every year, seven beauties from around the Nature Isle vie for the Miss Dominica title. And every year we get to sit with those young ladies to get to know just a little bit more about themselves. Today I am joined by Kelsia Wrighton, contestant number seven. Kelsia, thank you for joining us. You're most welcome, Paul. It's a pleasure to be here. So let's get straight into the question aspect of this interview. You're from the community of Kings Hill. Tell me about your upbringing and your family. I am the last of five children. Wow. My mother, I would like to say, is a pioneer in the hospitality industry. She works at the Fortune Hotel, where I also work, and she's worked there for 25 years. Wow. I'm 21 years of age, so that's my entire life she's worked there. I have three sisters and one brother, which I, who I love dearly, is dearest to my heart. And being the last of five children, it's a wonderful experience. I get to have the opportunity to admire each of them, their personalities, mm -hmm. and it also gives me the opportunity to be able to interact with others, seeing that I have four people with different personalities that I have to engage with daily. As the last, sometimes they say the last child is spoiled or the last child gets bullied because they're so spoiled. Did that ever happen to you? I had none of those experiences. I took the opportunity being the last not to feel or want to be spoiled, but to accept constructive criticism. Okay. Because as we all know, the last is always looked at very closely. None of your siblings want you to make the same mistakes that they did. And so they always try to shower you from mistakes. And I appreciate that a lot. I take the opportunity to thank them and I'm grateful for it. That's really nicely said. Um, and that's also great that you take the opportunity to grow and not make the same mistakes that they did. Yes. That's really great. You also said that you work at the Fort Young Hotel. I do. What is that experience like? Working at the Fort Young Hotel is a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. Every day is different. I get to interact with different personalities because not only do I engage visitors, I engage locals as well. And uh, I am faced with the task of enabling them to have a wonderful experience at every opportunity that they meet me. As a receptionist, I am the nucleus of the hotel, or I would like to say my colleagues and I, we are the nucleus of the hotel. We are the first faces that everyone sees when they come to the hotel. And so we are responsible for creating the first impression, which is the lasting impression. Absolutely, and I'm glad that you said that. But you also studied biology and psychology at the Dominica State College. And I want to know, what did you plan to do with that associate's degree since you now ended up in the hospitality industry? My initial goal was to become a doctor. Okay. However, my first job out of college was as a waitress at the Fortune Hotel. And through interacting with guests, and providing quality customer service, I realized that it has become my passion. Mm -hmm. And when you enjoy what you do, you will do it well. And because of that, I chose to pursue a career in the hospitality industry. And not too many young people get that opportunity early on. They tend to go through a lot of life experiences before they find what they're passionate about. So that's actually commendable that you, you know, that you recognize that so early on. Thank you. Um, The Fortune Hotel is, uh, I, I want to say, is one of the, the premier, if not premier, institutions on the island. And I shouldn't say institution because they do so much. But, you know, as an organization, um, and there are several organizations in Dominica that are keen on something, that um, they pride themselves in effecting change in the community. You know, they recognize their social obligation. Tell me how, how the Fortune Hotel affects change in the community. At the Fortune Hotel, we are not only concerned about our image. Mm -hmm. We are concerned about our staff. We are concerned about the children of our staff. And for this reason, we provide a scholarship to the children of our staff. So there's a process that 
each staff would have to apply and at the end of it one child or two children are selected and those children are afforded a scholarship so we are concerned about the educational advancement of our society now sorry to cut you off is this a scholarship to primary school secondary school or tertiary education to primary school and secondary school as well okay great great so you can continue as i was saying we are focused on educational advancement for this reason we also provide we help the ue to provide free educational lectures so for example the dame eugenia charles lecture which was hosted at the fortune hotel recently it was free to the public and the ue was at no cost wow okay we also are concerned about disabled people in our community mm -hmm. and so we make yearly donations to the dominica association of disabled people okay so we are trying to create a culture of service not only within the fortune hotel but on a national level and that's commendable but i also understand which i never knew before and 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 maybe a lot of other people don't know is that they feed the grotto home every single day that's 365 days a year every you know day. working for such an institution like that who gives back how does that make you feel it brings within me a spirit of humility mm -hmm. giving back to our society is something that is very important and we need to realize that the success of our country does not only depend on the wealthy those who are wealthy also need to give back we need to be concerned about those who cannot afford we need to be concerned about those who may not have enough to eat and so we all must play a part in our culture and the development of our society well said Okay, according to USA Today, Dominica has been named among the 10 best romantic Caribbean islands. Being in the hospitality industry, what are your thoughts on that and how do you think that will impact the number of stayover visitors to the island? I think this is commendable. Mm -hmm. As a nation, we need to continue to focus on the clients that we bring in. So. Tourism, as we say, is everybody's business. And we have a lot of markets. We look at divers, we look at nature enthusiasts, and now we have wedding couples to look at. Dominica is a beautiful island. Our sea, seas are beautiful, our beaches are marvelous. So when people come to Dominica, they have a wide range of, of sites. To look at mm -hmm. to get married and not only the sites that we offer but our hospitality dominicans are warm and even at the fortune hotel we cater to weddings we set it up we have beautiful flowers which create beautiful ambience at the wedding and the atmosphere is serene it's calm the waves on the ocean just bring that relaxing moment to you so dominica is not only the perfect wedding destination but it's the destination which will create the perfect experience you you mention about customer service and you and you you speak about it so passionately and, and I want to point out that it's actually your platform yes, but as is. a lifestyle now I recently had a terrible experience at a major organization here and you know tell me how valuable customer service what are your thoughts on that in in any industry let me begin by saying that good customer service is creating bonds with our clients through our interactions with them those interactions they affect us individually socially and economically quality customer service needs to be the backbone of every business because customer service says whether your business will thrive or whether it will diminish we all need to accept customer service as part of our lifestyle because the customer's perception is our reality their spending is what we depend on and dominica is constantly promoting itself as a tourism destination and we want to develop our tourism industry so that we can benefit economically from it 
we need to improve on quality customer service and let that be our focus and in this way not only will we thrive individually but that will determine the success of our country I agree 100% and also to say that the customer is always right. Customer is always right because their perception is our reality. Okay, so let's get to the pageant aspect of this interview. Why did you decide to join the, to partake in the Miss Dominica pageant? My decision to participate in this pageant is because I want to complete a journey which I started in 2003 mm -hmm. by participating in the Dominica Princess Show. I emerged first runner-up and that served as motivation for me because I wanted to emerge the winner. So that failure motivated me to participate in the Miss Teen Dominica pageant six years later. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I emerged the winner. And now I feel it necessary to complete the journey that I've started by challenging myself to do the same with the Miss Dominica 2015 pageant. It is an opportunity for personal growth and development, which I accept, and I'm ready to take on. Very nice. What are the sacrifices you've made for this experience already? I've had to give up a lot of my free time, because participating in the pageant helps you to manage your time daily. You have practices to attend, you have to work, and you still have to manage to find time to relax and unwind. So what I've had to sacrifice dearly is my free time because prior to the pageant, I had a lot of it. Mm. And what's your experience been thus far? Thus far, my journey has been informative. It has helped me to build confidence it has helped me to know and learn more about myself and the people that surround me. And for that opportunity, I'm grateful. So and what have you learned about yourself through this journey? Through this journey, I have learned that I have the opportunity to be the best person that I can be. Mm -hmm. And that I need to let my light shine and not dim it. So this is a valuable lesson that I will take on this journey, to let my light shine at every opportunity. What do you admire most about the current Miss Dominica? I admire her spirit and her confidence. Mm. She is confident. She's very confident. At no time do you sense doubt. And she has a happy spirit. She's bubbly, she is open to anything, and that is commendable. What makes you unique? What makes Kelsia unique? I would have to say my personality, my humility. My personality is not that which is bubbly, but it is one which is cool, relaxed, and this is what makes me unique. Okay. This is what someone will remember me for, my okay. personality. Do you believe in God? Uh, or would you say that you are more spiritual than religious or more religious than spiritual? I would say that I'm more spiritual than religious. I believe in God, but I am more of a spiritual person. Okay. What's your opinion of Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and his efforts to create employment for the youth of this country? Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt is a good leader. I commend him for that. And I also see that he realizes the need to develop the youth. And by implementing the National Employment Program, he is creating an opportunity for the youth not only to explore their niche, like I did by first working at the Fortune Hotel, for them it might not be a permanent job, but it's the opportunity to see, okay, maybe I like being a receptionist, maybe it might be my passion, or I prefer to interact with people more. I don't really like sitting at a desk. So in that way, he's giving each and every young person in Dominica the opportunity not only to discover themselves, but to discover their true career path. 
and that is very commendable. I like that. How, do, how important do you think it is for young people to vote and why? In last year's general election, I was, I was of age to express my democratic right. And I think as a people, this is something we should not take lightly. It is something that you need to express, something that you need to have a say in, who is going to lead your country. Because it doesn't only affect the people who are in power, but it affects us individually, it affects us economically. And so we all need to exercise our democratic right. And I'm very happy that I did. I would like to encourage the young persons, the next general election, please vote. It's important. What scares you? I'm afraid of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't like to see them on television. I most definitely don't like to see them in reality. Something about them is very, I don't know, unnerving. Mm. It just creates a sense of fear within my spirit. But you, you weren't born with a spirit of fear, so you've got to tread on that serpent, okay? I do. What motivates you? What motivates me is knowing that every day is a new day. Every day is a day that I get to start over and create a new experience. And knowing that is great motivation because every day I get to do something different. I get to be something different. I get to work towards being a better person and developing myself and impacting the people who surround me. Mm. So just knowing that every day is a new day serves as motivation to me. What can we expect from Kelsia on the night of the show? On the night of February 6, you can expect glamour, class, poise, and excitement. And I urge each and every one of you to come to support us as we vie for the title Miss Dominica 2015 in celebration of Dominica's culture. C'est la vino. You're right. If you win this competition, how will you make a difference? If I am successful in the Miss Dominica 2015 pageant, I will make a difference by continuing to create awareness about my platform, which is customer service as a lifestyle. In that way, I want everybody to look at the bigger picture, to see that customer service really and truly impacts our society and we all need to take it upon ourselves because everybody needs to play a part in the development of our country absolutely where do you see yourself five years from now five years from now i see myself with a bachelor a bachelor's degree in hospitality management and still creating that awareness about customer service because my goal is to continue being a customer service representative. With that bachelor's degree, I could be a food and beverage manager. I could even manage a hotel. So the ultimate goal is to continue being a customer service representative. Okay. Each of our contestants has a platform, something that's dear to them. I know we've heard about Kelsey's platform, but I want to give her an opportunity to expand more about that. As I initially said, good customer service is developing bonds with our clients. Customer service as a lifestyle is my platform. And I would like each of us as Dominicans to take control of that. That we embrace the mindset that customer service will develop ourselves, it will develop our nation. So at every opportunity, even with a visitor, we need to help to create that experience. Because when visitors come to Dominica, they do not only look at the hotels that they stay in. They look at the people who they interact with on their trip. They look at the taxi driver who takes them from the airport. They look at the people who check them in at the airport. And so 
from the person entering our shores we need to ensure that we give quality and consistent customer service in that regard when they go away they can go to their friends and say i went to dominica and these people were hospitable i had a wonderful experience everybody was kind they will influence many of their friends to come to our country in that way we will benefit greatly because when the customers spend we gain more so we need to create that culture of service or we need to remember that culture of service because Dominicans are known for being warm and hospitable people. So we need to be passionate about our jobs and we really need to take into consideration the bigger picture because we strive really to fulfill the pledge that tourism is everybody's business and this is how Dominica will thrive. That's it for this edition of Journey to the Throne. I'm Pearl Fontaine. See you next time.